Hey guys, so I'm gonna start by applying the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer. I've never tried this before. It's um, honestly one of their newest products. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, ColourPop, so it has a little dispenser. It's different from the ones I've used previously because the other ones are squeezy tubes. Let's see. Feels creamy. I don't know if I'm gonna be a fan of that, to be quite honest with you guys. And for eyeshadows today, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Play Jewel Palette. This is what it looks like. I've really been wanting to get this palette and I was like, you know what? Let me just get it. The color story is so pretty. Like you have every single color except black in this palette, so. I was like, let me just get this palette and see what the big jazz is about. So I'm feeling like doing something corally, something on that side of the family. Um, we shall see what I come up with. Um, I really don't even know what, what color to start with. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to start with the color Agate U, which is this one right here. It's a very pinky kind of tone. I just want to see how the shadows grab onto this primer. Okay. So they are grasping. It has a lot of kickback, this palette. They're grasping really nicely, to be quite honest. I was a little nervous because the primer was a little creepy for my preference. But it seems like they are grasping on the primer nicely which is always a positive note. Now I'm gonna take a smaller precision brush and I'm gonna take the color, hmm. I think I'm gonna take the color Mo Mosaic, Mosaic. I don't know, I'll put it in the screen, girl. And I'm just gonna apply this right here. I'm just gonna work this here. So far, so good. The colors are very pigmented and they're working nicely on the eyes. Just trying to see the shades a little bit better. I didn't even use my eyeshadow guard. This video's gonna be all over the place but I like how the eyeshadows are working well with the primer that's always a very positive note when it comes to primers um so I'm excited about that part just blending everything outward that way I can have that seamless blend I don't know if you guys can tell, but this eyeshadow kind of looks a little patchy here. Let me apply a little bit of craft just to see if I can smoke it a little bit. I don't know. I'm gonna make it too dark because it's still daylight and I'm like, I don't want to go too dark into my shadows. Okay. I'm gonna apply a little bit more, a little bit of geode, geodite life, which is kind of like a purpley shade, just to see if I can tone down this brown a little bit. And I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner like this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease, but I'm not gonna do it with the primer just because. I kind of feel like the primer is not going to give me the cut crease that I want. So I'm just going to cut the crease with that TikTok hack that has been floating around everybody's For You page. I'm going to try it for myself. I'm kind of nervous, not going to lie. <clears throat> ah, I cannot even let you guys see. Okay. Okay, 
I'm not supposed to be like this or if I did it wrong. Okay. So I saw a bunch of people like applying it with the curler and then they would either take a brush or the back of their finger. I'm just gonna take the back of my finger and kind of work on this. Okay. Oh my God, I passed the line. Oh my god, I think I fucked it up. <laughs> Leave it to me to fuck it up, right? Okay, let's see if I can fix it. Hmm. So it kind of seems like I fixed it. I'm not quite sure though. And on that, all that place where I cut the crease, I'm going to apply the shade uh, Rare Earth, which is like a pinky kind of rose. I'm just going to apply this right there. I'm just applying it with my finger. So, no, this is like so nerve wracking because I see the line, but Huh. I don't know about you guys. I never colored inside the lines. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, uh, am I going to mess it up? Okay, I'm going to go back into the shade Mosaic, Mosaic, whatever it's called. And I'm just going to go back in there and just smooth out this part. And also with a little bit of Geo Life. Like that. Hmm. It looks, it looks interesting. Maybe I have to clean it up and then, you know, it would work. Um, let me go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, um, I forgot to update you guys that I use the ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Um, the eyeshadow, I don't know, guys. Let me just show you guys the way the palette looks. It is probably one of the ugliest palettes formula wise from ColourPop. I hate, I hated every shade. It was so tough to just blend things out. And I know right now it, my eyeshadow does not look perfect. Please bear with me guys. I took this look off twice already. Unfortunately, I don't have time to take it off again. But this probably has been one of the worst palettes that I've tried from ColourPop. But um, since I do have other products from ColourPop that I have to try today, um, we're going to move forward. So the next product I'm going to apply is going to be the Pretty Fresh Foundation. Now, I do have a full video on this, so I'm just going to briefly apply this on screen. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be trying or using in this video is going to be the Pretty Fresh um, Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. You guys already know that this is one of my favorite concealers from ColourPop. Um, I don't like the smell because it kind of reminds me of like licorice, but I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try to bear with the scent because I don't like it, but oh well, right? So I'm going to be using today the No Filter Setting Loose Powder from ColourPop. I got mine in translucent and I also got the ColourPop, I'm sorry, the ColourPop No Filter Powder Puff. Came in a little box like this and this is the little puff. So I'm going to be using this for the powder. Let me just blend out my concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to use the powder puff and the translucent powder from ColourPop. the application like this a little bit better rather than with a wet um, beauty blender or sponge. So I'm just pressing the powder onto the skin. I can't really tell you guys much right now. Um, the only thing I do um, see or feel right off the bat is that it doesn't have a scent, which to me that is very important because with sensitive skin, you guys know that I cannot really deal with a lot of scents 
I like to put a little bit of powder in this area, like all the mouth area, just because the mask is usually here. And so if I don't set that, usually my foundation like transfers a lot, especially um, ColourPop foundations. It doesn't leave me super white and hopefully it doesn't have like a white cast or anything. Let me just start removing excess. Oh my God, it's super white. And I did get the translucent shade, but apparently this shade is like super white. Oh my goodness. Hopefully it doesn't have flashback as well. It's leaving me like some type of marks here in my forehead. Oh my god, guys. I look like a complete freaking clown. I definitely gonna have to warm up the face because I look hella white right now. I look like freaking Pennywise. I did see that it had a super white like coverage, but I didn't really think it was gonna like stain me super white. Hopefully I can warm this up. This video has not been going the way I thought, guys, at all. So let me just warm up the face and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was not able to tone it down any further. It was going to start making my face look very muddy. As you guys can see, I look like Casper White. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Hello Kitty Press Blush from ColourPop. And this is... Part of the Hello Kitty and ColourPop collaboration product that I'm gonna try from ColourPop is gonna be the Lippy. Um, this is the Lippy Sticks. I got this one for free, and this one is in Brat Pack. This is what she looks like. Amy. But it's a very light. This is definitely not going to be a good thing for like masks and stuff. So I'm a little nervous on how that's going to be holding up. Let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the way the makeup came out. As you guys can tell from my face, my reaction. I didn't like it. Um, I just didn't like the way the eyeshadows performed i feel like it has been the worst palette that i've tried from ColourPop. um if i had to choose like one thing that i really liked about this makeup look probably the lipstick that would probably be the one and only thing that i liked other than that i didn't like anything else the eye primer i don't know i feel like it was going to be good for like maybe like metallic shades but once I tried it, I had a hard time kind of blending them out and stuff. So I was like, I don't know. The powder was the least favorite of mine. Um, to be quite honest, I don't know what happened with the eyeshadow palette. It just was not working for me. <sighs> I had to do my look twice. It definitely has flashback. Um, I will insert a picture for you guys on the video. But it definitely has flashback. Um, I saw it right now and it's just super obvious. It's super obvious that this powder was not my shade. Um, I don't know what else to do to tone it down, guys. I tried applying a little bit of setting spray and it didn't tone it down. So I'm so annoyed because I have to go somewhere right now. And I'm literally going to be walking like this out there. But oh well.